I would like to show you a small demonstration of uh, the software that is used to connect to uh, XSIM and uh, reads all the uh, motion data for the six degrees. Uh, so you can perform six of uh, math. Uh, right now, you can see here in XSIM I've set up the correct yaw, pitch, roll, should sway, heave axis so they can be read from the external program that works like a plugin but uh, it's like external it's not internal XSIM uh, you don't have to start the XSIM for that reason you don't export the data anymore in the USO so uh, I'll just uh, put it aside so this little <coughs> software that I modified from an older, older source code about a small steward platform a demo one uh, made by Robin Larabi the no Bobot 2009 okay so I changed the, the outputs so I can talk to my electronics. This here is a AMC644 USB board, but uh, works the same for the AMC1280 USB board. I just have this uh, uh, for demonstration right now. Uh, the screen is more easy to read on the camera. Um, first of all, uh, it has a 3D simulation. Uh, function that you can display uh, a void of the platform so you can see visually uh, what happens before you apply the uh, output to a real uh, to a full size platform um, so I'll just uh, first of all you have to run hardware okay so now it's connected I'll try to move here you can see the values changing there I'll get back into it let me put it in the middle and, uh, then you have uh, the connect to XSIM button that connects connects to XSIM so you can um, read the data from the profiler uh, so right now um, let me do some little tests so you can see how it works. I'll place the camera. Here I'll put it in manual mode first. I think you can see that. Um, I'll do the yo first. You can see the output changes by pairs. One, two. 135 at 246. I'll try to do the pits and uh, I'll leave it there. That's the roll, that's the surge, that's the sway. That's a heave. Actually, it has a test program ability that you can click it, watch the output uh, change, like, but it does move the 3D one. Because your mom was okay, so. Uh, I'll just connect it to XSIM so you can watch it while playing game how it reacts. So let me zoom out so I can have a wide view. There, I think that's enough. And uh, let's take the car. Let me see there. in the south
can see the rotation. Zoom it here so you can see some more details on the output. I have the output set like bars so you can see that. But I can set it like numbers too, so you can see exactly the percent. The percent position of the motor. Of course, the other side is the feedback potentiometers. Right now, they're not connected. I just put some here for reference for our zero. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks for watching.